Rocky Jones. Space Ranger. Space Ranger. Space Ranger. Starring Richard Crane. In The Forbidden Moon, Chapter 1. Thank you, Marshal. This is Office of Space Affairs. Office of Space Affairs. Come in, please. Space Station RV5. Clark speaking. This is RV5. Request aid. <coughs> Clark, this is Drake. What's wrong? Situation beyond control. Uh, Listen to me, Clark. Try to tell me what happened. R, B, five, request a... Can you hear me, Clark? Who stored your amplification? It's at capacity now, sir. This is Office of Space Affairs calling Space Station R, B, five. Come in. Marshal, get Rocky Jones. Yes, sir. What do you make of it? What could have happened to Clark? I don't know. It looks very serious, Rocky. I agree, sir. RE5 is our most important link with outer space. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. This may be a trap. Marshal? Yes, sir. Special orders. Ground all spaceships. Mr. Secretary, contact with RV-5 just went dead. All communications severed. Have a ship prepared for blast off at once. Yes, sir. We're ready, sir. And so is the orbit jet. Right? Right. right. In case you can't land on the space station, Dina, you could set up operational headquarters over here. We'll do that, sir. However, I would prefer your immediate return to Earth. Mr. Secretary, I've decided to resign from the Space Rangers. Why, Bobby? If I can't go on a troubleshoot mission, I guess it don't amount to much. You amount to a great deal, Bobby, to all of us. That's why you're staying here. Why, Bobby understands, Mr. Secretary. Don't you, Bobby? I suppose so. <laughs> That's fine. And now, Professor, there's a question regarding the distance between these two possible objectives. Mm -hmm. Whether you can remain in communication with this office. However, I think with your... Rocky, on a troubleshoot mission, you never know what you'll run into. Please be careful. I will, sir. And come back, all of you, safely. Well, we always have. Ready for blast off, sir, but the professor's missing. The last I saw him, he was looking for Bobby to tell him goodbye. Well, here's the professor now. I can't find the boy anywhere. He must have taken pretty hard. <laughs> no space ranger likes to be grounded, but he'll get over it. Well, take good care of him for me, won't you, Drake? Sure will, Professor. 
All the supplies and emergency equipment aboard? Yes, sir. Good. Switch on blast-off synchronizer. Aye, aye, sir. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, Rocky. Switch on blast-off synchronizer. <laughs> Here. We just left Earth's magnetic field. Won't be long now. What's the professor up to? His usual afternoon nap. Rocky, if we're out of Earth's magnetic field, we must be flying backwards. Take a look at those instruments. Jumping Jupiter, this can't be. It isn't. We're out of the magnetic field, all right. Something's wrong with the instruments. But if they were all double checked before blast off. Secure. Vina, warn the professor. Wiki, you stay at the controls. This may be sabotage. Aye, aye. All the magnetic instruments have been reversed. Something wrong in the aft section. Don't leave the controls, Winky. Right. Stay in your seats. Got a stowaway. I'm sorry, Rocky, but it just wasn't fair. I've always been on your team. What's that you've got? Oh, a piece of quartz from my planetary rock collection. Quartz? Of course. That's what reversed the instruments. Get going, Bobby. Bobby! Bobby! Relax, Winky. Come on in here. So, you're here. Bobby! There's your saboteur, and here's his secret weapon. This is a piece of quartz. And if I remember correctly, quartz contains bismuth, and bismuth acts as a magnet. You're right, Rocky. And I may add, the bismuth becomes a powerful magnet when it's removed from the magnetic field of the Earth. So that's what happened to the instruments. Bobby boy, are we glad to see you. <laughs> now let me repeat. Estimated time of arrival is 1420. Professor, Vina, Bobby, you stay aboard while Linky and I go on reconnaissance. These are my orders, Bobby. Any questions? No, sir. All right, return to your post. XV-2 to space station, RV-5. Come in, please. Come in, RV-5. Do you read me? The place is dead or no gypsy moon, Rocky. Uh, not a sign of life. Don't be too sure, Winky. We may be expected. Yeah, it could be you're right. They wrecked the communication system, but they made sure that the magnetic coupler was left on. Switch on visiograph.
Look, Rocky, there's a spaceship more than the station. A reception committee. Yes, and we're the guests of honor. Hmm. No mark of identification. This spells trouble and plenty of it. Well, Winky, you like parties? Looks like we're going to have one. Yeah. Or is this some new safety device? I doubt it. That ship's radioactive. I'm going inside. You get the anti-radiation, sir. Make sure everybody's inoculated. Well, what about you? Later, not now. Get going, Winky. Right, sir. Medina. Destination unknown. I don't get it. They're way off their course. They always had them. The ruler Agar has always had a chip on his shoulder. We'd better stop guessing about that spaceship and find out. Look, Rocky, before you go any place around here, you're going to let Professor Newton give you some of that anti-radiation serum. We've all had it now, so come on. All right. Space station, and all we find is destruction. Whoever wrecked the other equipment left this room untouched. Air generator in perfect condition, oxygen supply intact. Somebody's still here. The man's got to breathe. Conscious, he's in a coma. My diagnosis indicates a paralysis of the cortex of the brain. There's little I can do until I learn the cause. You mean you don't know? Well, this much I do know. This type of paralysis is often due to exposure by radiation. To cure it, I must know the specific radiation that's responsible. It's lucky we took the serum. Well, we'd all be in that condition. Yeah. Now, I shall need my equipment, Rocky, especially the Geiger counters. Certainly, Professor. Oh, Vina. Vina! Vina Ray reporting. We need radiation detection equipment urgently. We're in the space station control room. Proceed with caution. Yes, Rocky. And Vina, under no circumstances is Bobby to leave the ship. That's an order. Yes, sir. Oh, 
You needn't worry, Rocky. Bobby will never again disobey you. He promised me. Good. Say, Winky, those astrophone recordings may give us a lead. We forgot the monitor. Now we're getting someplace. Medina spaceship to RV-5. Space station RV-5. Come in, RV-5. Medina spaceship to RV-5. RV-5 to Medina spaceship. Clark speaking. I have a crippled ship. Can you pull me in by magnet? Sure thing. Just hold on. What are you doing in this neck of the woods? Never mind. Just do your job. That's what I'm here for. Here we go. There's more. Calling Medina. Calling Medina. Come in, please. That boy sounds familiar. This is Medina. Manion speaking. Who wants us? Get my sister Yara immediately. This is Agar. Immediately, sir. Yara and Agar. There's a pair of troublemakers. It's Yara I'm worried about. She's the one who rules Medina. Agar is just a figurehead. Oh, the big sister act, huh? He does what she says. Agar, where have you been? I want a report. You'll get it. Listen to this, Yara. I found the secret that will make us and Medina rulers of the universe. The key to the most tremendous weapon ever known to mankind. And what is this mysterious weapon, Agar? I'll tell you when I get there. Send a ship immediately. I'm at space station RV-5. What happened to your ship? It's damaged. I had a forced landing on the Forbidden Moon. But I managed to blast off and get as far as space station RV-5. Forbidden Moon? That's out of bounds. No one's ever returned from there. Well, I did. That's where I found the secret. I'll send a ship for you, Agar. Out. Well, we sure missed connections with this guy, Agar, didn't we? Yes, it looks like it. Winky, I want that astrophone repaired. We've got to reestablish communication with Earth. All right away, sir. Professor, I'm going to the Medina spaceship to see what I can find out. You go ahead, Rocky. And by the time you get back, I may have the answer to this radiation problem. Good. On the contrary, I've been wanting to talk to you. Go ahead. I don't like talking across a gun. I do, when I'm talking to a tall man. Pulls him down to my size, sort of evens the score. What does it? All you have is muscles, but I have brains and this to back it up. Now, oh, come on now, Agar. Stop playing hero. Playing hero? Making fun of me because I'm small. You don't have to be big to be a hero. I mean business. So do I. Your paralysis is only temporary. You can hear me, so please listen carefully. You have nothing to be afraid of. I haven't been able as yet to determine what sort of radiation affected you, but you must have faith in science. It's only a matter of time. Uh, you're taking it wonderfully, Clark. Now, I can assure you the anti-radiation serum I've given you will protect you until I found the ray. What's happening? The Medina ship. I thought it was damaged. It's rocky. In the orbit, yes.
tongue won't bite you. Children should speak only when spoken to. I'm not a child. I'm a space ranger. Who are you? I am Agar, ruler of Medina, soon supreme ruler of the universe. That's a mouthful. You're a space ranger, all right. Just big talk. Muscle-bound fools. That's not talk. Rangers have good manners. They're not bullies. They don't act like you. Don't they? I know what's wrong with you. You're like Corky. He's a kid in my school. Always picking a fight with me. He knows I won't hit him because he's small. Why, you... Go ahead. You're bigger than me. Fix the communication generator, but I can't make the astrophone work up here. Oh, Winky, you must make it work. We've got to get through to Earth. With Rocky gone, it's our only chance. Now, now, Vina. Remember, a good space ranger never gives up hope. Thank heavens you're here. I thought you were on the ship. Where's Bobby? What? We thought he was with you on the ship. He's on the ship, all right but not with me. What do you mean? He's with our pal, Agar. Bobby's on a ship with death. You better give us the facts, Rocky. Yes. I suppose finding this was a lucky break. It's the log of the Medina spaceship, a record of Agar's deadly treasure hunt. What does it say, Rocky? Date of entry, October 16th. Spaceship rocket trouble, closest planet, forbidden moon. Attempted force landing, landing successful. Leaving ship to repair damage. Date of entry unknown. Lost consciousness after leaving ship. Cause strong radiation penetrating spacesuit. Regained consciousness. Rapid paralysis, breathing difficult. Unable to reach ship and supplies. Consumed leaf from plant to relieve thirst. Sudden recovery. Summary after completion of radiation tests. Discovered new type of cosmic radiation on Forbidden Moon. Its penetrating power first paralyzes, then kills. Leaves of unknown plant cured me and made me immune from radiation. Why, that man is walking death. What about us? And poor Bobby? Well, our anti-radiation shots are still holding out, but who knows for how long. And time, Rocky, time is of the essence. I'll get this astrophone fixed. And I'll try to repair Agar's spaceship. We've got to go to Medina and find Bobby. And Agar must be isolated, or he'll contaminate and destroy his own people. Hey, Rocky, I'm getting through to Earth. RV-5, calling Office of Space Affairs. Order Space Disaster Squad. Decontamination crew and equipment. Keep all spaceships grounded. Space station unsafe and out of bounds. This is the RV-5 calling Office of Space Affairs. Office of Space Affairs to RV-5. Come in, please. I read you. This is Space Station RV-5. when you left him, Professor? Oh, that anti-radiation serum works like a miracle. Clark will be all right until the space disaster crew arrives. You know, this old clunk isn't doing too bad. She's held together with hope and a promise. <laughs> She'll get us there. Professor, remember what you said. Good space ranger never gives up hope. <laughs>
with us next week, same time, same station, when we again take you into outer space for further adventures with Rocky Jones, Space Ranger. R.V. 5. Clark speaking. This is R.V. 5. Request aid. Clark, this is Drake. What's wrong? Situation beyond control. I... Listen to me, Clark. Try to tell me what happened. R.V. 5. Request aid. Can you hear me, Clark? Who stored your amplification? It's at capacity now, sir. This is Office of Space Affairs. Calling Space Station RV-5. Come in. Marshal, get Rocky Jones. Yes, sir. What do you make of it? What could have happened to Clark? I don't know. It looks very serious, Rocky. I agree, sir. RE5 is our most important link with outer space. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. This may be a trap. Marshal? Yes, sir. Special orders. Ground all spaceships. Mr. Secretary, contact with RV5 just went dead. All communications severed. Have a ship prepared for blast off at once. Yes, sir. We're ready, sir. And so's the orbit jet. Right? Right. Right. In case you can't land on the space station, Dina, you could set up operational headquarters over here. We'll do that, sir. However, I would prefer your immediate return to Earth. Mr. Secretary, I've decided to resign from the Space Rangers. Why, Bobby? If I can't go on a troubleshoot mission, I guess it don't amount to much. You amount to a great deal, Bobby, to all of us. That's why you're staying here. Why, Bobby understands, Mr. Secretary. Don't you, Bobby? I suppose so. <laughs> That's fine. And now, Professor, there's a question regarding the distance between these two possible objectives. Whether you can remain in communication with this office. However, I think with your... Medina. Destination unknown. I don't get it. They're way off their course. Well, they always had them. The ruler Agar has always had a chip on his shoulder. We'd better stop guessing about that spaceship and find out. Look, Rocky, before you go any place around here, you're going to let Professor Newton give you some of that anti-radiation serum. We've all had it now, so come on. All right. Oh, 
have searched half the space station, and all we find is destruction. Whoever wrecked the other equipment left this room untouched. Air generator in perfect condition, oxygen supply intact. Somebody's still here. The man's got to breathe. He's in a coma. My diagnosis indicates a paralysis of the cortex of the brain. There's little I can do until I learn the cause. You mean you don't know? Well, this much I do know. This type of paralysis is often due to exposure by radiation. To cure it, I... <laughs> XV-2 to space station, RV-5. Come in, please. Come in, RV-5. Do you read me? The place is dead or no gypsy moon, Rocky. Uh, not a sign of life. Don't be too sure, Winky. We may be expected. Yeah, it could be you're right. They wrecked the communication system, but they made sure that the magnetic coupler was left on. Switch on visiograph. Look, Rocky, there's a spaceship more than the station. A reception committee. Yes, and we're the guests of honor. Hmm, no mark of identification. This spells trouble and plenty of it. Well, Winky, you like parties? Looks like we're going to have one. Yeah. Or is this some new safety device? I doubt it. That ship's radioactive. I'm going inside. You get the anti-radiation, sir. Make sure everybody's inoculated. Well, what about you? Later, not now. Get going, Winky. Right, sir. Medina. Destination unknown. I don't get it. They're way off their course. Well, they always had them. The ruler Agar has always had a chip on his shoulder. We'd better stop guessing about that spaceship and find out. <laughs> Marshal. This 
is Office of Space Affairs. Office of Space Affairs. Come in, please. Space Station. R. V. 5. Clark speaking. This is R. V. 5. Request aid. <coughs> Clark, this is Drake. What's wrong? Situation beyond control. I... Listen to me, Clark. Try to tell me what happened. R. V. 5. Request a... Can you hear me, Clark? Who started your amplification? It's at capacity now, sir. This is Office of Space Affairs. Calling Space Station RV-5. Come in. Marshal, get Rocky Jones. Yes, sir. What do you make of it? What could have happened to Clark? I don't know. It looks very serious, Rocky. I agree, sir. RE-5 is our most important link with outer space. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. This may be a trap. Marshal? Yes, sir. Special orders. Ground all spaceships. Mr. Secretary, contact with RV-5 just went dead. All communications severed. Have a ship prepared for blast off at once. Yes, sir. We're ready, sir. And so's the orbit jet. Right? Right. right. In case you can't land on the space station, Dina, you could set up operational headquarters over here. We'll do that, sir. However, I would prefer your immediate return to Earth. Mr. Secretary, I've decided to resign from the space rangers. Why, Bobby? If I can't go on a troubleshoot mission, I guess it don't amount to much. You amount to a great deal, Bobby, to all of us. That's why you're staying here. Why? Bobby understands, Mr. Secretary. Don't you, Bobby? I suppose so. <laughs> That's fine. And now, Professor, there's a question regarding the... Dip me? And made me immune from radiation. That man is walking death. What about us? And poor Bobby? Well, our anti-radiation shots are still holding out, but who knows for how long. And time, Rocky, time is of the essence. I'll get this Astro phone fixed. And I'll try to repair Agar's spaceship. We've got to go to Medina and find Bobby. And Agar must be isolated, or he'll contaminate and destroy his own people. Hey, Rocky, I'm getting through to Earth. RV-5 calling Office of Space Affairs. Order Space Disaster Squad. Decontamination crew and equipment. Keep all spaceships grounded. Space station unsafe and out of bounds. This is the RV-5 calling Office of Space Affairs. Office of Space Affairs to RV-5. Come in, please. I read you. This is Space Station RV-5. Clark, when you left him, Professor. Oh, that anti-radiation serum works like a miracle. Clark will be all right until the space disaster crew arrives. You know, this old clunk isn't doing too bad. She's held together with hope and a promise. <laughs> She'll get us there. Professor, remember what you said. Good space ranger never gives up hope. this next week, same time, same station, when we again take you into outer space for further adventures with Rocky Jones, Space Ranger.
XV2 to space station, RV5. Come in, please. Come in, RV5. Do you read me? Place is dead or no gypsy moon, Rocky. Uh, not a sign of life. Don't be too sure, Winky. We may be expected. Yeah, it could be you're right. They wrecked the communication system, but they made sure that the magnetic coupler was left on. Switch on visiograph. Look, Rocky, there's a spaceship more than the station. A reception committee. Yes, and we're the guests of honor. Hmm, no mark of identification. This spells trouble and plenty of it. Well, Winky, you like parties? Looks like we're going to have one. Yeah. Or is this some new safety device? All right, David. That ship's radioactive. I'm going inside. You get the anti-radiation, sir. Make sure everybody's inoculated. Well, what about you? Later, not now. Get going, Winky. Right, sir. Medina. Destination unknown. I don't get it. They're way off their course. They always have been. The ruler Agar is always.